he's, you know I don't have time. I don't have time. Huh? Alright, so if you are ready, follow my instruction. I came across this video of Apostle Messiah where people allegedly possessed of marine spirit were delivered and all that was required for them to be separated from the marine spirit was just to mention the name of Jesus and at the instance at which they accepted to call the name of Jesus by the instruction of Apostle Messiah, they were seen delivered. Power. Touch her, touch her, if she is ready. Are you ready to divorce? from the goddess of the river you are not sure you are sure okay come bring her now you you just hey 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 shake me you know i don't have time i don't have time huh all right so if you are ready follow my instruction i say shake me That's number one. Then number two. Say Jesus. Follow my instruction. Say Jesus. Try. That is, that's the fastest means of transportation. Huh? There's another one to come, come. Stand up. Bring her. She's in the water too. Let's transport her out. She needs transport money to come out of the, of the water. Okay. Shake me, shake me. Are you ready to come out? You are ready. Do you know that your umbilical cord was used to, to put you in bondage? Are you aware of that? You know? Okay. Don't worry. Uh, yes, that's where it is. It was your umbilical cord when you were born. Uh -huh. Okay. Now say, just say, Jesus. Jesus. Have mercy on me. Now, contrary to the video that got trended at one time of Pastor John Anosike, who said the name of Jesus is powerless. In his words, he said, as powerless as Jesus. Go. Jesus is highly powerless. Very powerless as Jesus. So you can see Jesus and still die. Now, but Jesus, pay attention to this, is not with his power. His power is in his gospel. In that video, he was of the opinion that the name of Jesus will not work because his power is in his gospel, not in his name, and separating the name of Jesus from his gospel. But looking at this video, you can see where people who are not even believers, but by calling the name of Jesus, they were delivered from the possessions of marine spirits. Let's look at what happened afterwards. To do <laughs> Huh? Okay, this lady is asking why she's here. You know, after the transportation, she didn't know that there was more. There was. You are here for good reasons, huh? Oh, she's asking why she's here too. Oh, you want to drink water? Give please, give them water. They are here for good. They are here for a good reason. Oh, you want to marry? Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let the gate of our marriage that have been shut, let it open tonight in the name of Jesus. She wants all her problems solved now. <laughs> In my last video where I 
indeed consigning that his purported message that the name of Jesus is powerless. This media team filed a report to Google to take down that video and penalize my channel. But I won the disputes. I have nothing against the man. I just saw what I felt is an heresy and I addressed it on my platform. And I am still of the opinion you cannot peddle truth on falsehood. Regardless of his explanation, for him to have said Jesus is powerless is an outright falsehood and you cannot explain truth on falsehood. Falsehood is falsehood. You cannot peddle truth on falsehood. By the way, what he said is not totally correct now but jesus pay attention to this it's not with his power his power is in his gospel cannot separate Jesus from his gospel because his gospel teaches of his name so his name is also his gospel so having a pastor a renowned pastor of that caliber coming to say the name of Jesus is powerless and the power is in his gospel not in his name I think is an heresy I want you to understand I have nothing against this man I just saw something which I believe is an heresy and so I decided to address on my platform.